It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. But we've made it. We've made it, all of us, all of us. And, and our children are telling me that they see now more than ever that here in America, anything is possible. They also tell me that I'm a role model, which I take both as an opportunity and as a huge responsibility. I'm feeling up to the task primarily because I know that I am not alone. I'm standing on the shoulders of my own role models, generations of Americans who never had anything close to this kind of opportunity, but who got up every day and went to work believing in the promise of America, showing others through their determination and yes, their perseverance, that good, good things can be done in this great country. From my grandparents on both sides, who had only a grade school education but instilled in my parents the importance of learning, to my parents, who went to racially segregated schools growing up and were the first in their families to have the chance to go to college. I am also ever buoyed by the leadership of generations past who helped to light the way, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Justice Thurgood Marshall, and my personal heroine, Judge Constance Baker Motley. They and so many others did the heavy lifting that made this day possible. And for all of the talk of this historic nomination and now confirmation, I think of them as the true path breakers. I am just the very lucky first inheritor of the dream of liberty and justice for all. I have worked hard to get to this point in my career and I have now achieved something far beyond anything my grandparents could have possibly ever imagined. But no one does this on their own. The path was cleared for me so that I might rise to this occasion. And in the poetic words of Dr. Maya Angelou, I do so now while bringing the gifts my ancestors gave. I, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. new role, I strongly believe that this is a moment in which all Americans can take great pride. We have come a long way toward perfecting our union. In my family, it took just one generation to go from segregation to the Supreme Court of the United States. <laughs> the honor of a lifetime for me to have this chance to join the court, to promote the rule of law at the highest level, and to do my part to carry our shared project of democracy and equal justice under law forward 
into the future thank you again mr president and members of the senate for this incredible honor a historic moment a celebration welcome everyone